Hi everybody and welcome inside Tony Kent Arena in South Dennis, Massachusetts for this Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week. Live on Twitch via Twitter. It's Mashpee Monomoy versus Nauset. My name is Jim McCabe on the play-by-play -play for this one and uh, where have I been this afternoon slash evening? Sitting right here. We had a game before this. This is the second in a doubleheader of uh, broadcasts from Tony Kent Arena. Sandwich just beat Dennis Yarmouth 2-1. And we're underway here now between the host Mashpee Monomoy Monarchs and the visiting Nauset Warriors. Thank you so much for being with us on this Saturday evening. To our left is the Nauset goal. To our right is the Mashpee Monomoy goal. And we have just seen a goal scored. Shot from a long distance went in, and the player celebrating the goal scorer is Chris Matten. Early goal score here for Mashby Monroy, just about 15 seconds in. That's the start. Mashby Monomoy won it, that is the opposite of the start. That Nauset won it. This Nauset team is coming off a very big win uh, against Barnstable. The way things have gone this season for Nauset. You looked at that record, that matchup, and did you expect it would be a 4 3 win for Nauset? Well, you know, if your head coach, Drew Locke, uh, the answer may be yes. He's had the uh, disposition before this game here. Talking him today, uh, feeling like his team had it in them, had it in themselves to pull out a win like that. A 4-3 win against Barnstable at Charles Moore Arena in Orleans. Their first win of the season.
And taking on a Mashby team that is looking for its first win. It was uh, Battle two teams looking for their first wins last night. Mashby Monomoy losing 7-3 to John Paul II. You saw that game here on the Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week. So now Mashby is the only team remaining in the Cape and Islands division to not have a victory. Meanwhile, by the way, a penalty has been called here. I'm sorry, I missed that. This is on Cam Taylor. Mashby Monomoy is on the first power play of the game. They've scored the first goal from Chris Manton. And here are the Monarchs. Shot from the wing. Save is made. Charlie Southworth taking that shot. Uh, about time to tell you the starting goaltenders for this one. You've been waiting patiently, and I thank you for that. It's Caden Bono in that for Nauset. And for Mashby Monomoy, the goaltender is Dom Sukulis. Let me also tell you the lines for this game for the Mashpee Monomoy Monarchs. It's Lucas Tambolio, Owen McGovern, and Charlie Southworth on line one. Ryan Lima, Sean Davick, and Jack Stone line two. And this uh, puck is centered and the net's off, I think. Is that why we have a whistle? Maybe not. Another reason? Unsure. Oh, we have another penalty being called here. On Nossa, this is an interference call. So make it a five on three for 47 seconds. Quickly, the lines for Mashby Monomoy also. Alex Matten, Casey Hughes, Chris Fenton on three. Keith Watkins, Kyle Richmond, line four. The D, Alex Tozy, Max Abood, Mara Kristofalski, Jack Fitnitsky, and Mitch Silva, and Jonah Rivers. And for Nosset, the lines are Ben Rose, Cooper McIntyre, Cam Taylor, Dan Deering, Logan Valine, and Jack Burns. Let me finish off that in a moment here. Watch here as Max Abood rips. Save is made by Caden Bono. All right. So also we have Aaron Howard, Cam Viprino, and Hayden Boucher. And line four is Luke Machinsky and Cam Connery. And the defense for Nossip, Pete Murphy and Ethan Keeney, Sam Weiner and Noah Clark, and Julian Krivos. Face off win for Mashby Monomoy and uh, the five on three, another 30 seconds of it. Long distance offering from Jack Stone, knocked down in front of the net. And then um, Ethan Keeney bumping Sean Davick. And uh, the puck is sent out of play. And uh, everybody without a helmet ducking the coaching staff back there. So we're going to say uh, these are the first two power plays for Mashby Monomoy. They got another 21 seconds of five on three time. Face off in neutral, won by the Monarchs. Max Abood across to his uh, backline partner, Jack Fitnitsky. Nossa was able to. Get to it in neutral, and now stepping into offensive ice, shorthanded. Spinning to the half wall and getting hit was Cam Viprino. And Mashby Monomoy able to re-establish possession in their own zone, as this is now down to a five on four. The second penalty is ongoing. Also survived the five on three scare. Entering the zone and for Mashby Monomoy is Max Abood. Plays it on further, rescued on the line by Sean Davick off of Jeff Fitnitsky. I think that puck went off of inadvertently. And now it's going to be Nossett's uh, Noah Clark ripping one down the ice. This is still penalty kill time for Nossett. Kvitnitsky uh, gets pickpocketed. Man unable to step out in front threateningly was Cam Taylor. And a puck out to neutral, but uh, as Nossett touches it, another penalty is being called against Nossett. This is a high stick. And deja vu. Mashby Monomoy is going to get the five on three power play again. And it's going to be Cam Taylor. Uh, so here we go. This is the third power play for Mashby Monomoy. Five on three. It's going to be another five on four after that on the face off shot. Right. Almost on there. Missing by not a whole lot. Nudge from point to point. Here comes a slap shot from Alex Tosi. Doesn't make it past the goaltender Bono. And on the near side, Mara Kristofalski. Sharp angle, shot stays out. Five on three for another eight seconds. Backing up is Tosi. And the flip along the far side boards. 
And into the corner, sits there on the chest pawn. It's back for Tosi, it's now five on four. Tosi was able to not have that be a turnover on the man who was pressuring for Nosset up high. And this five on four is down to a minute and nine. Nosset will get the clear. Mara Kristofalski getting it to Chris Matten and the good give and go between Matten and Casey Hughes. Matten now gives to another teammate who fires. That's Alex Matten, and the save was made by Caden Bono. So the Mattens are out there right now. Max Abood, gloved it down at the point, was trying to get rid of it with uh, an awesome player right on him, uh, Cam Viprino. And he couldn't get it out of the glove. And they blow the play dead. Now, the officials got together. Not, I don't, I don't think you would assess that as a delay of game penalty. There, you can assess the delay of game penalty if, for example, a, a player gloved it and ran with it, but they'll just blow that play dead. I guess it was a hand pass call officially in the books. This puck is back in the Nauset zone. And Mashby Monomoy couldn't do anything further on that segment of the power play. It's down to 15 seconds now. And the puck shorthanded here. Nossa player gets a shot. Save was made by uh, Tom Sukulis. That shot from Dan Deering. And this will get us down to the end of the power play. Nossa does a good job of killing off the three consecutive power plays for Mashby Monomoy, overlapping a couple of them to turn into five on threes. Golfed by Noah Clark to the left of the goaltender Sukulis. It was a little messy there. Ashby Monomoy can't clear initially. Now they do. And it'll be chased into the Nauset zone, but punched out of there. And offered ahead by Cam Taylor, and this man moving well is Cooper McIntyre. To the net! Sukulis makes a save. On the good drive to the net from Cooper McIntyre. He's got a good feel to this one. Ethan Keeney uses the glass to get this into the Mashby zone. Goaltender Sukulis wanting the puck to be thrown right out, but that's not going to happen. And now Mashby Monomoy is able to set up here for the run out to neutral. And now the zone entry, the drop from Sean Davick, but the teammate not there. Nossa doesn't get it deep into the Mashby Monomoy zone. Open ice contact between Ethan Keeney and Jack Stone. Nossa possessing in their own zone. And unable to clear. Return over to Mashby Monomoy. Stone carried it to the corner. He's got Nossa players on either side of him, and he's not getting help. But the puck does move along the boards. Tosi is back there, and it's because he didn't come in to pinch. It doesn't uh, mean Tosi wasn't doing his job there. That's the decision you make. Now Tosi from neutral will send it in. And Mashby Monomoy is, well, they're sending one new player out there. Jack Stone just headed off. And out there now is Alex Matten. Matten will chase along with his brother Chris. Nossip was able to get the puck out to neutral. And a loose puck is still controlled by Nossip into their zone now. And this player clears is Noah Clark. Max Abood giving it over to Jack Bitnitsky. And out of the Mashby Monomoy zone. Pass on to the stick of Alex Matten, but poked off and dumped into the Mashby Monomoy end by Camden Viprino. And we're halfway through the first period. Nossett can't get the uh, can't get a shot on goal there. I meant to say Mashby Monomoy can't clear. And they're gonna try here. Grab by Max of Boot. He got bumped. Thrown deep from the line by Pete Murphy. And Murphy again. Shanks the shot, and as a result, it goes to Chris Matten, who gets uh, the puck all the way down the ice. It's called icing here. Uh, this game is being brought to you by K-Pod Refrigeration, Heat and AC, specializing in Mitsubishi ductless systems. Family owned and operated since 1996, serving Provincetown, Truro, Wellfleet, East Ham, and Orleans. Call them at 508-349-5821 or visit capecodrefrigeration.com. We have a penalty here, an elbowing call. And 
Who is this on? Well, Mashby Monomoy. This is Mara Krustafalski. So Nasa gets its first power play of the game. So Nasa, uh, their special teams on the other end did a good job. Let's see how the power play goes. Noah Clark dancing with uh, his opponent Owen McCovern watching. And this goes back to Clark. Ripper from the half wall. It was a a lot of energy on that shot, and the save was made by Sukulis. And the move made at the line by Sam Weiner, he brought it across the line, and uh, it's called offside. Six and a half minutes to play in the first period. Why don't I also tell you, our game is sponsored by Siemens Bank, KPOD's first community bank. Since 1851, Siemens Bank has continued their commitment to the community. Five branches from East Ham to Provincetown. Siemens Bank is highly regarded for its community involvement and support with local schools, businesses, and nonprofit organizations through its charitable foundation. Siemens Bank would like to wish the Nauset Warriors a great season. Jack Stone, effective penalty killing here, pushed his man up on the end boards and then got a touch on the puck. Now Nauset's going to rush out and some match speed players are back there, caught behind. A uh, move made here by Dan Deering, but eventually the good bump on him. And now battle for it behind the net. Squirts free. And this is a pass to Noah Clark from uh, his point man, Sam Weiner. And now the shot from the near side wouldn't go for Cooper McIntyre. Stays in the zone. And in the glove of Dom Sukla, Sam Weiner's shot was answered. And so Nauset getting some activity on the power play here. 49 seconds remaining on their man advantage. Face off win, shot, save, Suklas from Murphy's offering. 40 seconds left on the power play. Murphy, Grister, another glove save for Suklas. He's seeing the puck well. This is a saucer pass, Ethan Keeney kicks at it. Oh, Keeney runs into his man, and it goes in after that. Power play goal for Nosset. And I think we're giving this goal. I think we're giving this goal to Cam Viprino. I couldn't even see it. Eight or nine, Jack Burns or Camden Viprino. Hopefully we'll get a call here to inform us. Face down into the Nauset zone. Nauset scores on the power play. Perhaps the goals aren't being read here. Might have to walk across the way for the update on that one from the intermission. It's hard to see. But uh, I, the the thing that was that had drawn my attention there was the great uh, effort from Ethan Keene. He doesn't get an assist on that goal on paper. Let it be known that he had definitely something to do with that goal. And meanwhile, Ashby Matamoy for the great chance. How about that from Charlie Southworth busting ahead and try to get it to Lucas Tambolio. And they weren't able to connect for a goal there, but they came close thanks to the hustle from Southworth. But again, it was Keeney on that goal that was just scored by Nossick. Keeney received a pass, hustled back for it, fell over Lucas Tambolio, and then the mess in front is where it was put in. Great effort from Nossick to get that goal. Four minutes remaining in the first period. This pass, Max Abud has to go out for it and is able to do so. Nossett doesn't get this, or do they, get this across the line. Uh, it appears that they did 
And uh, Mashby Monomoy is called for the offside. Three minutes, 48 seconds to go in the first period. Official talking to Drew Locke over at the Nauset bench. While we have this moment, our sponsorship also includes Agway of Cape Cod. Locally owned, family operated, serving the Cape for over 25 years with lawn, garden, wild bird, and pet supplies. Visit the three Agway locations in Orleans, Dennis, and Chatham, and the website is agwaycapecod.com. All right, so Nossa got a penalty here. nossa has gotten the penalty, and so we're gonna put Mashby Monomoy on the power play for the fourth time. This penalty was to Emily was the Jack Burns. Watch out here. Breakaway time. Zuculus makes the save on Logan Valine. This is shorthanded, Nauset. Oh, and busted up there on uh, the rush ahead was Ryan Lima. And this is cleared by Nauset. Monomoy will start up again. Down to the last 3.15 of the first period. Power play is down to a minute 20. Dumped in by Mashpee Monomoy. A puck in on net. Save is made by Caden Bono. Squeezes it against the near post. One minute, 14 seconds remaining on the power play for Mashpee Monomoy. They're 0 for 3. Jack Bitnitsky tried to pass it across the blue line. Nauset's got two guys up high that forced it out. And now on the dead and puck, it's picked up by Cam Viprino. Viprino stops it at the side of the net, puts it out in front, and on net from Cam Taylor, but the save was made by Dom Sukulis. And with 2.41 remaining in the first period, our other sponsor for this game is Carpet Barn, Carpet One, Floor and Home. They're with us for all the Cape Cod games once again this season. One store for your perfect floor with two convenient locations in Falmouth and Hyannis. Your source for carpet, luxury vinyl, hardwood, tile, laminate, and more. Visit Carpet Barn, Carpet One, Falmouth.com or call 508-296-8189. Here's one of the Mattens for Mash Primonomoy shooting it. And Alex's shot there was a save for Caden Bono. Seeing the Mattens play more together in this game than we have previously. Jack Bitnitsky is by himself. Received the pass not cleanly, but it was okay. He recovered and uh, ripped it down the ice. And uh, just wide of the Noss at net for icing. As we are down to 219 remaining in the first period. And uh, we're down to 31 seconds on this Mash Primonomoy power play. 1-1 one, one is the score. On this face-off in the Mashpee Monomoy zone, it's taken to the end boards. Mashpee player gets to a far side, flipping it out is Charlie Southworth. Further on here for the escape and the shot, and Bono makes a save on Casey Hughes. Casey Hughes getting by. A physical get by there on the Nauset defender for Casey Hughes. Two minutes even remaining in the first period. 13 seconds left on this power play. Monarchs win the faceoff. Max Abud rips. Save me, I don't know how that got through. Oh, McCover can't settle down the puck in time to get a rebound shot on goal. Initial save though, made on that play by Kane and Bono. Power play is over, 100 seconds remaining in the first. Southworth trying to grab a bouncing puck. Also tried to jab it out, a boot was back there for Mashby Monomoy to keep it alive. And a boot tries to pass it across the blue line. It slips over, and it's back for Max Abood, sending it to a Mashpee player who's got a couple of Nauset jerseys near him. 
Well, now Nossa does recover. And Nossa has it in their own zone once more. Slow pass to Cam by Prino. And further on for Cam Taylor. Taylor the rip. Save was made by Dom Sukulis. And here goes Mashby Monomoy back the other way. Player goes down. Contact. It looked like on Sean Davick from Cam Viprino. Oh, and a uh, hit finished on Vitnitsky from Boucher. I think it was Boucher, the initiator. Those two came together one way or the other. Now Jack Stone is down there in deep in the Nosset zone for Mashby Monomoy. And uh, contact on the puck makes it go out of play with 29.1 seconds left in the first period. One, one the score. Late here in the first. Nossa with the faceoff put in their own zone. Dan Deering sees the path to clear. Ashby Monomoy was able to throw it back in and retreating behind his net, Sam Weiner. Got 10 seconds left in the period. Deering on the far half wall instead of clearing. He sends it back deep. And the Ashby Monomoy player is going to get this. It's thrown out in front and it's loose. And man can't shoot it on net, but there's going to be one more shot here. Wouldn't have counted had it gone in from Chris Matten, but the save was made anyway. And we are through one period of play. It is 1-1 the score between Mashpee Monomoy and Nauset in this Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week. We'll take the break and come back with the second for you.
Welcome back, everybody, to the Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week, live on Twitch via Twitter. It is a 1-1 game after one period of play between Nauset and the Mashpee Monomoy. And let's start the second period right now. That's what we are doing. The first period goals, as we get a whistle here, nine seconds in, scored by Chris Matten and Jack Burns. And uh, the Matten goal was must have been a deflection in front from him as uh, the initial player that shot it, this is right off the uh, opening faceoff, so I didn't get a chance to see initially, but it was uh, the point man, Alex Tosi, I, I believe, because it was the starting lineup out there. I couldn't actually see the number, but I know it was the starting D line out there for Noss at the right point man shot it, which I believe was Tosi, and the deflection from Chris Matten. There's a big hit on the near half wall. Save is made by Dom Suklas on a puck that comes in on him, and he peeks behind him to make sure it didn't squirt. True, it did not. So that's how uh, an Austin score, or Mashby Monomoy scored the first goal about 15 seconds in. Then you saw that power play goal from Nossa to respond, and uh, it was Jack Burns, which I think was my initial call there. Uh, hockey players have a nice way of making you uh, aware of who scored the goal if it's not apparent, and uh, the first guy to the bench was Burns. And I told you about that great effort from Ethan Keeney to uh, keep the puck alive and put it into an area close to the front of the net, and it was uh, Burns was able to pounce home. Now this puck is right in front of the Mashby Bonavoy net, and here's another one. Nosset scores to take the 2-1 lead. Another early period goal. And the first one to the bench is Dan Deering. Fifty-one seconds into the second period. I'm having a I'm having a string of bad luck here. I didn't see how that goal was scored by Deering. I have to take another look at that. That's what happens. It would be nice for us a hockey play-by-play -play broadcaster if all the goals were neat, orderly goals, but that ain't how hockey works. Here's Alex Tosi, the long bomb. That one just misses. Oh, and here's a pass on the goal line. Shot, save, rebound. Wouldn't go that initial shot. Taken by Mashpee Monomoy's Jack Stone. Now this goes into the Mashpee Monomoy end. It is 2-1 on the goal from Dan Deering. Mashpee Monomoy clears. Here's Pete Murphy in neutral to dump in for Nauset. Hammer time, Alex Tosi in his own zone to try and clear. Murphy keeps it in. Shot the flex, and the man's gonna be able to step right in for another chance was Ben Rose. That one wouldn't go. Offered along and uh, sent back deep by Nauset's Cam Connery. And after that, Monarchs were able to clear, and it's golfed ahead by Ryan Lima and down into the Nauset zone. Controlled by the Warriors as Mashby Monomoy sends new players out onto the ice. Loose puck in neutral will be uh, swatted into the Monarch end. Oh, and a man behind the action is Chris Matten by himself. Oh, Brad Blakoyevich. What a save for Caden Bono. That glove came out quick. Chris Matten bidding for his second was cherry picking behind the action. Ain't nothing wrong with that if you can get the goal and he almost just did. Save of the game. And off this uh, face off, it's Matten again. Chris with the shot on goal and the save is made by Bono. Another puck melts in on Bono, and he covers for the whistle. We played more than two and a half minutes of the third period. Every year, this Nasa team. Their goaltender 
is good for a really, really memorable save. And he makes another one on the opponent, Chris Matten, once more. Chris Matten with the frustration, the great setup for him. And in front, put the shot delivered on goal true. But another save is made by Caden Bono, who is warming up here in the early stages of the second period. Ashby Monomoy buzzing around the net once more. Another one out in front. This is not a setup, though, that'll work. It's a turnover. And it's the other way. Alex Tosi sending Cam Taylor down to the ice. Cam Taylor, the recipient of that big hit. Oh, and a loose puck out to neutral. Interference out. Oh, man. On. Ethan Keeney, I thought the initial, he got hit again to Keeney, and all of a sudden now, bodies are flying out there. It's become roller derby. I thought way back when, there was like about three or four consecutive hits there, and I thought maybe the first one could have been called interference on Mashby Monomoy, and then Ethan Keeney, I thought, was legally hit the second time around. Now we do have a penalty that's being called. I believe this is a penalty that's coming up. I didn't see what it was, but if it's... Well, maybe we don't have a penalty here. Okay, no penalty coming up. My apologies. And we move on. Into the Nauset zone. Ashby Monomoy wasn't able to get set up. There's another big hit. This one from Max Abood. Austin's going to wake up here. Mashby Monomoy is absolutely throwing their weight around in this one. And now we have a penalty on a hit from behind the Austin net. Apologize for those who may use a video to review hits like that. Uh, may not call that on the camera, but this uh, penalized players on uh, the Nauset side, it's on Cam Viprino. It's two minutes on the cross check. Mashby Monomoy now up to five power plays. They're 0 for 4. Austin will get this clear. And Mashby Monomoy taking his time on the breakout. Some anxious fans watching here want Mashby Monomoy to get going on this power play. It's 35 seconds through. Jack Vidnitsky makes the move. Oh, but it's a pickpocket. And Suklas. Able to shut the door on Logan Valine in tight. Oh, Vidnitsky made the move on the one guy, but then a second NASA player came in there on the penalty kill. And was able to take the puck away. Two one, the score here. And also trying to kill off the penalty, doing a pretty good job. Wrap around. Suklas makes the save on Cooper McIntyre. Now the other way is Sean Davick shot. That's blocked by Sam Weiner. Now it goes below the goal line behind the Nosset net. Ethan Keeney will pass, and here goes Nosset. Still shorthanded here at Nosset. Shaw Suklas makes a save on the near side offering from McIntyre. And it'll be slung into the Nosset zone by Cam Taylor. 
into the mashpee zone, excuse me, and then the salsa player does grab it. And holding on is Logan Valeen, loses it on a one on three situation. But now uh, Mashpee Monomoy puck movement results in a turnover. Dan Deering's backhander just misses. 10 seconds left in the power play. Mashpee Monomoy hasn't been spending much time in the offensive zone this time around. Previous power plays look a lot better than this one. And this is going to be icing on Nosset. It's been a busy uh, start to the second period. We're almost halfway through it. Here comes a shot on goal, saves made. Aaron, uh, Owen McGovern took that shot. Nauset net is off. And they're gonna have to put that back on. Meanwhile, Nauset goes the other way, so they'll be able to put this net on in time. And this pass is received, but a shot is uh, a weak one on. There was a Mashpee Monomoy stick to influence it. Played off side on Mashpee Monomoy. Tag up. Nosset with the passing. And a further one off the stick of Connery. Retrieved by Mashpee Monomoy player back there. And a back line pass here now. And they're unable to clear. And this uh, Nosset player is McIntyre moving along with it. Throws it out in front, it goes. But the shot from Ben Rose was blocked. Slapper from up high from Sam Weiner is a save for Dom Sukulis. And we get the stoppage of play with 7.28 to go in the second period. Just looked at again at that second NOS, a goal total jam time around the net. For that goal that I believe was scored by Deering. Face off coming up in the match speed zone, another power play here. This one's gonna be for Nauset. A lot of penalties being called in this game. It's to Mara Kristofalski. All right, so Nauset on the power play here. Rip from Weiner, save was made by Suklas. Clear. And Mashby Monomoy. This is the second power play of the game for Nauset. They're one for one. Deering drops to Logan Valeen. Valeen gives it to Sam Weiner. Weiner across. Shot wouldn't go for Noah Clark, but it goes as a pass. Logan Valeen up top, Sam Weiner shot, and that one looks like a deflection in front. Uh, save on the logo from Sukulis. and watches another one go by the net from Sam Weiner. Looked like maybe it was gonna get up on him higher before that deflection dropped it down just a little bit. Again, chest height save. Sukulis watches another one go by, not missing by much with Sam Weiner. And Sukulis makes a save on this, offering from the right side. Power plays halfway through. And Sukulis swallows up this follow-up offering from Sam Weiner. Let me tell you about our sponsors for this game. Cape Cod Refrigeration, Heat and AC. If you need service for your commercial refrigeration or need to install or upgrade your Residential or commercial air conditioning system, give them a call at 508-349-5821. Their website is capecodrefrigeration.com. And a face-off win for Nauset. Flip from the line. Stopped in front. That shot from Pete Murphy. 
Nossa goes back in, 40 seconds on the power play. The pass is quick in front as Suklas makes a save on McIntyre. Murphy for Nossa turns and is given the space. Pass to Ethan Keeney and the good spin move. With Charlie Southworth approaching, he passes and receives. And it's given go time between him and Ben Rose. A set up in front, just missing both McIntyre. And now on the further puck movement, leaving the zone. And 13 seconds left on the power play for Nosset. Warriors will move the puck ahead. We're back to even strength now. Jack Bitnitsky, the good read of the situation there. The back line pass to Mayor Kristofalski. And now from shallow in the Nosset zone, it's taken the other way. It's Cooper McIntyre. Throws it in front. And that one wouldn't go for the man in front, Cam Viprino. Ashby Monomoy is going to get a clear here, but this is going to be icing on the Monarchs. So let me also tell you, this sponsorship includes Siemens Bank, Cape Cod's first community bank. Siemens partners with great organizations like the Cape Cod Children's Place to support local families, making a better life here on the Cape. Please visit their website, SiemensBank.com, to learn what Siemens may be able to do for you and your family, and they say, let's go Warriors. Off this face-off in the match to Monomoy zone, trying to drag it on for a shot unsuccessful. Dan Deering, and now the other way, it's Mashby's Casey Hughes with his own entry. Hughes holding on, can't snap the pass on because he's uh, defended closely by Noah Clark. Puck pops up high, doesn't touch the ceiling, and we'll play on here. Loose puck in neutral is controlled here by Mashby Monomoy, and from his own zone, Max Booth throws it back out. And now this is hurled ahead by Jack Burns for Nauset, and is this going to be another icing? Yes, it is. So... But I also tell you, our sponsorship includes Agway of Cape Cod, your local source for the pet food and supplies you need to keep your four-legged family members happy and healthy. Visit Agway in Orleans, Dennis, and Chatham online at agwaycapecod.com. Off this face off in the Nauset zone. Warriors feeling the pressure. And the man retreating behind his net was Pete Murphy, moved along to the far side. And Mashby Monomoy couldn't keep that one in. And now it's hurled by Mashby Monomoy, but right to a Nauset player that's back shallow in his own zone. Back in neutral. And a loose puck. Who wants it? Jammed between the benches. And we have a penalty on Mashby Monomoy. What was it? I am uh, I'm pretty much batting a thousand here in between this game and the last game of not seeing the penalties myself, which is always fun. It's not happening this time around. <laughs> last one. It's always fun. You don't see something, but everybody else saw it, and they tell you what they thought. Uh, Lucas Tambolio is the penalized player here. Let's put Nossa back on the power play for the third time. They're one for two. Late here in the second period. Slips uh, past the stick of Dan Deering. He recovers. Nobody guarding him. And so drifting is Noah Clark. Back to Deering. And the quick movement to the corner. And sent back to the point. Shot off the glass from Clark. And on the near side, Sam Weiner shovels it along. To the corner. Players arrive for this one. Remember, we're supposed to be blowing the whistle for these scrums. And now they do been all over the map as far as this COVID era rule of whistling scrums more quickly. I've seen a lot of scrums that have been whistled quicker than what we just saw. What? A minute 25 remaining on the power play. And also controls behind the net. This player has it. Centers. Goes on through from Viprino. Now rescue on the far side. Contact on Noah Clark from Ryan Lima. This puck escapes out of the Mashby zone. Jimmy Cave here with you on Twitch via Twitter. This Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week. 
2-1, Nosset leads Mashpee Monomoy. Mashpee still looking for its first win of the season. They got the first goal. Oh, and here's a drift on through. And Suklas watches some action in front of him as it was carried on by Cooper McIntyre. Now Stone the other way for Mashpee Monomoy on a one-on-two situation here. Goes down and couldn't penetrate further. Puck squibs out the neutral. Backskating is Vitnitsky for Mashby. And he'll just throw it ahead. And this is deemed no icing. Gunned along by the Nossa player. And it drifts to the near half boards. And Nossa controlling with uh, no serious forechecking pressure here from the Monarchs. Oh, and this man gets shoved down. Oh, and McGovern giving Logan Valine the business. Under 100 seconds to play in the second period. This has been a physical game. Ethan Keeney receiving the bump from Lucas Tambolio, and then a shot goes off the post after that. A shot is blocked. Another effort, and it's in the glove. The shot from Murphy, and Dom Suklas has it in the glove. Thank you also to Carpet Barn, Carpet One, Floor and Home, the one store for your perfect floor with two convenient locations in Falmouth and Hyannis for a sponsorship of this game. They are your source for carpet, luxury vinyl, hardwood, tile, laminate, and more. Visit Carpet Barn, Carpet One, Falmouth.com or call 508-296-8189. A little over a minute to go in the first, in the uh, second period. Wouldn't mind these teams playing an extra period. They're playing great, fun, exciting hockey out there. And this one, uh, neither icing here with 52.5 seconds remaining in the second period. go down get, try to get this puck behind the mashby net clock is down to 40 seconds and that's another stoppage for the scrum Now down to 36.7 seconds. And a face-off win for Nosset. Man leaning into the shot, it's blocked from Weiner. Less than a half minute to go. Penalty coming up once more. Wrap around, doesn't go for McIntyre. Save made Suklas. A roughing penalty here. This will be the ninth power play of the game between the two teams. And this is on Mashby Monomoy's Mara Kristofalski. So this is going to be the fourth power play of the game for Nauset. Late here in the second, it'll carry over to the third if they don't score here. Just 20 seconds left in the period. Banged off the far side boards. Noah Clark receives and he'll pass and it'll go down low. 10 seconds left in the period. Set up for McIntyre. Shot on the left circle. Goes wide. Oh, and McGovern bangs it down. And that ought to do it for the second period. In fact, I was so confident I leave the camera at neutral. 2-1 to score. Match B. Monomoy. Trails. Nauset. And... Nosset's going to have a minute and 37 seconds of power play time to carry over to the third period. So we'll take the break as they resurface the ice. Please come back for the third. You're watching this Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week. Mashby, Monomoy, and Nosset will be back for the third period.
Welcome back, everybody, to the Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week. Live on Twitch via Twitter, it is a 2-1 lead for Nauset over Mashpee Monomoy after two periods of play. Recapping the goals in this one, Chris Matten, the uh, first goal on a point shot from Alex Tosi that appeared to be deflected by Matten. That's who they gave the goal to. And that one uh, was scored early on. Uh, Nauset responding with a goal from... Cam Viprino, he got the uh, goal. I, I said it was Jack Burns, and that's uh, who they had listed on, but um, went back and looked at it further. Thanks. Uh, I got to tip my hat to uh, Brad Joyle, the uh, Cape Cod Chronicle reporter who's here covering this game. Uh, his uh, tweet about who scored the first goal made me go and check a second time. It was actually Viprino. It was Burns and Viprino both in front on uh, that effort that we talked about ad nauseum from Ethan Keeney that resulted on that power play, and it was uh, Viprino who was able to put it home in front. And then uh, the second goal from Nauset was from Dan Deering, pass received for by Logan Valine who put a shot on goal, and dig time, digging away, Nauset did, and uh, digging Dan Deary. I'm, I can't think of any other D words there. He scored to make a 2-1 lead for Nauset. That's where we are. As this third period begins, Nauset is on the power play for about another minute. Here comes a rip, and uh, it's a block. Charlie Southworth got that one from Bill Clark. This is punched out of the Ashby Monomoy zone, and uh, the power play down to 45 seconds. Through neutral and into offensive ice now, it's Logan Valeen pulling up and getting to this puck. And uh, nobody shouting him. One timer doesn't make it on net from the man heading off quickly for the change, Sam Weiner. Power play down to 20 seconds for Nauset. They are one for four, including this one. Out to neutral, 10 seconds left in the power play. It is about to become one for four, unless they can score here in the last moments. And this player is going to get it across the line, just rip it deep as Julian Crevos. Power play has now come to an end. This game has been super physical at times. We had a few spurts in this game where the hits just kept coming. We'll see how this third period looks. Right now, it's Jack Fitnitsky escaping on the wing, and players catching up to him. Baleen got uh, interfered with a little bit there. Was still able to put a shot on goal. The whistle blows here. And it's uh, another penalty being called. The stripes have been busy in this one. And I think for uh, for good reasons, there's there's been some infractions in this game. Uh, holding call is assessed to Pete Murphy. And this is the sixth. Power play of the game for Mashu Monomoy. The teams combined for 10. This is going to roll in on Dom Sukulis. And he's going to cover. So we'll get this stoppage. Uh, as far as uh, the goal scorers in this game for Mashu Monomoy, Chris Matten scores his first of the season. And Logan Valine and Dan Deering, or I beg your pardon, uh, Cam Viprino and Dan Deering for Nauset, uh, giving Viprino his first goal of the season, the junior, and Deering scores his second. The power play for Mashby Monomoy will continue here. On the face-off, Nauset was able to flip it into the Mashpee Monomoy end. And chase down now in the Nauset zone. This Mashpee skater has it. Tried to twist it out for a pass further. Didn't go for Chris Matten. Chris Matten got absolutely robbed on a save from Caden Bono, denying him a multi-goal effort. Could still happen in this game, Chris Matten has arguably been the best player for Mashpee Monomoy. 
slip on by in neutral by Alex Matten. Matten gets across the line, gets support, shot made. And the rebound for Quad by Jack Stone. Now this will leave the zone. Sent deep into the Monarch end. And the power play down to less than 40 seconds now. Oh, and McGovern from Ashby Monomoy sending it back to Max Abood. Abood giving it on to the far side. Alex Tosi draws in the man. Alex Tosi got, I think, hit with an elbow there. They say this is onside. It was in the feet of Alex Matten. Matten sends it back, and Max Abood will throw it back forward. This is another just onside play. Alex Matten, the shot, and that one just missing on the left post side of the Nauset net. We've played four minutes of the third period. 2-1, the score remains in favor of Nauset. This puck will not get out to neutral. They blow this offside, but Abood kept that in. But I am not the one making the calls that count. I'm just glad we have. Uh, I'm just glad we have referees for the games tonight. We, uh, we had a, about a half hour delay last night for Mashpee Monomoy, and I'm I'm not gonna put the onus on anybody. I was told the onus of why that didn't happen last night, but why do I? Why would I need to do that? Uh, anyway. We had like a half hour delay last night for that match with Monomoy against JP2 game. Carry on deep there from Cooper McIntyre. Didn't amount to much, but on the follow-up. Nauset scores, and it's 3-1. And the goal scorer here appears to be Julian Krivos. One Nosset leads. <laughs> Ashby Monomoy will try to respond here. A big hit on the boards right out in front of Wim McGovern. Denied by Caden Bono. Another really good save for the Nosset goaltender. I guess this just ain't my knife for tracking goals. Need to look at that one again. Grievos with uh, the goal, I believe. Shot here is blocked in the Nauset zone. Oh, McGovern fans on a shot. Leaks back to the line on Jonah Rivers got rid of it and he got hit and uh, his upper torso snapped back in the contact from Cam Viprino. Here's Viprino getting across the line. This is just onside again. And Viprino pushing it deep. Viprino still on this Jonah Rivers trying to get it off him. Viprino. Nice 360 move there behind the net. Drifting to the far half wall. Move back to the left point. And pump back to the half wall. This is a pass that goes for Keeney from Viprino, who's having himself one heck of a shift. Back to Viprino. He is. I mean, I'd love to know what the percentage of how much he's touched the puck on this shift. Ethan Keeney's shot was blocked. Combination there. Jonah Rivers and Jack Vitnitsky were in on that shot block. And now here goes. This Mashby skater is Casey Hughes. Hughes! Shot missing the net. Casey Hughes has uh, been visible in this game for Mashby Monomoy. Puck leaking out to neutral before it's brought back in by uh, Chris Matten. And Matten is being dealt with here. There's multiple players coming together. And Cam Viprino moves it ahead for Nauset. And turning on the Jets here is Julian Krivos. To the net, Krivos shot. 
The save for Sukulis. Penalty. On the players coming together on the far side, an elbowing call here. Another penalty in this one. And this is on Mashpee Monomoy, so we're giving Noss at their fifth power play of the game. Noss it with the face-off win. And the pass from Noah Clark to the near half wall. Dan Deering shot. That's a blocker save for the Nashby goaltender, Sukulis. Great goaltending both ways in this one. So an entry for Logan Valleen. Passes out. And the shot well wide of the net from Noah Clark. And pumped back deep by Sam Weiner. And down low, this man doesn't pass. Max Boot is on him. That's Taylor. Dan Deering giving it back to Taylor. And he's able to race past the boot. Cam Taylor's shot on goal. Save is made by Sukulis. And Mashby needs a clear. Are they going to get it? Yes, they say uh, across the line. Also tried to bring it back in. And uh, blown dead for offside with 7.15 remaining. In the third period, this uh, game is being brought to you by Cape Cod Refrigeration Heat and AC. Call 508-349-5821 today for a free quote for a new Mitsubishi ductless air conditioning and heat system. Certified elite diamond dealers for Mitsubishi and can take care of all your needs. Cape Cod Refrigeration Heat and AC. 2-1, the score, 3-1 uh, now, Nosset leads and they're on the power play. And holding. On the far side, shot was blocked from Ethan Keeney. And it's going to go back to Keeney on the far half wall. Man wants it. And almost across to him, Pete Murphy. But there was the Mashby Monomoy stick that stopped that pass. Keeney in his own zone. And uh, contact from the Monarch. And the goaltender Bono came out to touch the puck as the third defenseman. Six and a half to go in the third period. And also, if they can score here, they're going to look pretty decent the rest of the way. And meanwhile, Mashby Monomoy is involved in what is a critical penalty kill. High stick whistle here, stopping action with 6.16 to go in the third period. This game's also being brought to you by Siemens Bank, Cape Cod's first community bank, serving the lower Cape communities from Provincetown to Brewster by providing loans for first time home buyers or anyone starting a new business. They continue to be the quintessential community institution. Please like them on Facebook and Instagram and go to their website to learn more. Now we're at even strength. Almost a juicy turn over there. Another big hit. We've seen a ton of them in this game. Contact on Luke Machinsky from Ryan Lima. Machinsky goes down to right at center ice. Players fighting for it in front of us. And it's back from Axe Boot. Mashby Monomoy zone thrown along. And also couldn't stop this puck from going towards their zone. Now it is in their zone with five and a half to go in the third. Also, player offers along. This is a turnover and it's a save. I think Bono got a piece of that from Chris Matten. Penalty here. Another one. We're almost up to a dozen. What do we have here? This is on Max Abood. The elbowing call. And as critical as the last penalty kill was for Mashby Monomoy, this one is even more so. As yes, we are up to 11 power plays in this game. Five nineteen remaining in the third period. A Nossa goal here would be a huge insurance tally. And a 
player has it behind the net. Passing is Cam Taylor. Received back by Taylor. And the shot's going to go wide of the net from Pete Murphy. Taylor down low with it for Nauset. Passes. Deering shot. Bit set up for him, but he just missed. Keeney on it on the far side for Nauset. Dragged it into a crowd. Cam Taylor giving it back and a good twist pass back to Keeney from Logan Valine, but the shot goes out of play and uh, uh, the stop and play with four minutes, 34 seconds to go. But thanks to our sponsors, also including Agway of Cape Cod. Their greenhouses are now open year-round and stocked with beautiful and easy to care for houseplants, as well as great unique gifts. Visit Agway in Orleans, Dennis, and Chatham. Online at agwaycapecod.com. Rip. Sam Weiner. The answer from Dom Sukulis. And we're down to now four minutes and 21 seconds in the third period. This power play ongoing for another minute and two seconds for Nauset. Nauset wins the faceoff. Noah Clark. Holding, giving on the bomb. Zuglis makes a save on that hard shot from Sam Weiner and there was a follow-up chance in front. Not much of a chance, but Dom Zuglis making the save. And would you believe it, there's been another penalty called in this one. Wow, now we are up to a dozen. Alex Tosi got the penalty. And so that is going to make this a uh, five on three for Nossa. This is their seventh power play. Five on three for another 45 seconds. Advancement. Oh, man. Too much juice on that one for Noah Clark. Eyes must have been wide as dinner plates. Clark's got it again. And this time he's going to pass. And that was a good decision. Messi in front. Kept out. And swept on further to the far side now. Another half minute, 25 seconds down to it. Five on three. Great. Uh, this is uh, going to be a shot. The save is made by Suklas from Clark. And punched along the far side. Kept in by Weiner. To Clark. Still five on three. Weiner the blast. Doesn't get all of it. Five seconds on the five on three. Player trying to jam. They blow the whistle. And also players down on his belly. And <laughs> not moving yet, and now getting up. Just waiting for the uh, traffic to clear around him is Cam Taylor. timeout that has been called here timeout's been called with three minutes 21 seconds to go in the third period so i'm going to take this chance to uh give you our final sponsor for this game thank you so much to carpet barn carpet one floor and home the one store for your perfect floor with two convenient locations in falmouth and hyannis check out exclusive warranty options up to the life of the installation to cover any possible soils or stains Carpet Barn Carpet One offers a healthier living flooring installation system, the first antimicrobial flooring installation system to keep allergens, dust, mildew, and mold away. Visit Carpet Barn Carpet One, Falmouth.com, or call 508 296 8189. All right, so we have three minutes, 21 seconds to go in the third period. Here's how we've gotten here the goal for Chris Matten for Mashby Monomoy, the only one. Three goals from Nossick, Cam Viprino, and Dan Deering, definitely the first two. Um, my, uh, my assessment was that it was Krivos' uh, goal, the third one. I think we might have a few more seconds here before the uh, timeout. All 
Oh, uh, I've at least paused it. All right, set up. Move the camera, Tim, sorry. Didn't go for Nosset. They still have another minute on uh, this power play. I believe that was Nosset that took the face the timeout. But I'm sure both Drew Locke had the uh, words for his Nosset team and Chris Peterson for his Nashby team. Big moment of this game. And uh, this man gets the puck away from the point and uh, Jack Stone for Mashby Monomoy takes it deep. And uh, got the job done to kill off time on the penalty. Cam Taylor gets run into by Jack Fitnitsky. And the man will pass at the point. And a little bit awkward here, but it's recovered by Keeney from Weiner. And moved along now further by Nosset. So they're setting up here. And the pass is out. Shot. That's a save. Sorry, that's Pete Murphy, not Sam Weiner. And thrown out on foot. Oh, a shot wide after Cooper McIntyre put it into a great spot. The penalty has ended. It's three on two match for Monomoy. There's an awesome player getting back. Oh, man. What do we have? A whistle and a stoppage as Ashby Monomoy was ready to run into the offensive zone. If this is another penalty, this is something. A cross-checking penalty. 13 penalties in this game. I didn't see this one at all. But I got to tell you, at this point, I'm not sure if the way this game's being played warrants a Baker's dozen penalties. But that's where we're at. Uh, Mashby Monomoy, I'm sure this is frustrating for them. Uh, they've got to kill off another one. And this is uh, down to less than two minutes in the third. So this is pretty much the ball game here. Nosset has the time. Mashby Monomoy is going to have to attempt to score shorthanded. Right now they got to kill off this power play. Holding on is Noah Clark. Giving it across, rip, save Suklas. Shot from Sam Weiner, this is Weiner this time around on the point, got involved in this play. And the further action, a shot from Julian Crevos, the save was made, or I'm sorry, went off the glass. This is a save made. And we're getting down to almost a minute remaining in the third period. That's a risky pass at the point. Also doesn't want to give Mashby Monomoy an easy goal here. They bring it back in to the Warriors. And the man makes the good move here with McIntyre. Passes it out to the point. Noah Clark giving it back to McIntyre. 45 seconds left on the power play. The shot. Suklas make, makes it go wide on the shot from Clark. Weiner. And Zamboni door goes up behind him. The blast from Noah Clark. Goes off the boards. This is all gravy time for Nosset. Less than a half minute to go. Clark. McIntyre. Shot. Score! I think that's going to be a deflection goal for Krivos. And Nosset gets a power play goal once more. And it's a 4-1 score with 18.6 to go. In the third period, they are going to come away with the win here. Man, they got a lot of power play time in this game. And they made the most of it. Half their goals have come via the man advantage. Ashby Monomoy is going to continue searching for its first win of the season. This was a well-played game both ways, I thought. Great goaltending both ways. Nosset, they're going to pick up their second win of the season. They are on a two-game win streak now. Five seconds left. And uh, this will go down as a 4-1 final. Nossip beats Mashby Monomoy here tonight. Give the game winner to Dan Deering. Let me see if I can uh, 
just one more time. I'm pretty sure the first, uh, the, the third goal scored for Nosset was from Deering. If so, that would mean uh, that uh, he had two in this game as the players, the team salute each other. As uh, it was scored uh, a few minutes into the third period. Zone entry. Uh, and uh, further, I'm going to take a look. I'm going to put it on. No, I can't see that one. The first one to the bench was Krivos. So possibly Krivos with two goals in this one. The camera work wasn't great on that third goal, I'm sorry. Prevos with at least one goal, but we're giving the game winner to Dan Deering. Viprino with the first goal for Nauset. And uh, that's it. That's all we got to tell you about this one. One more time, the final score. In this Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week, Nauset beats Mashby Monomoy 4-1. And uh, everybody stay safe, and stay safe in the snowstorm tomorrow. You want to say that a few times? Go ahead. Good luck. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Snow tomorrow. We're back on for more hockey on Monday. We'll see you then.